as your hat grows bigger and bigger, you can start seeing one of the additional uses of this running yarn marker as a row counter. So at this point, I'm increasing every third round. And if I remember to flip the marker every time I start an increase round, I can count how many rounds I've done since I last increased. So I know I've got three rounds done, so this must be an increase round. If you're a left-hand yarn operator, make sure the marker yarn goes underneath your working yarn. Always check the number of stitches before and half after your increase position. So I've got three, six on this side, I've got three, six, and there's my increase position. As long as you keep the increases centered, then your pattern will work out beautifully. Pearl, yarn over, pearl again. And this double increase doesn't interfere with your knit pearl patterning in, in the seed stitch. As your hat grows, you may be thinking of switching to a circular needle. So it might be helpful just to put an additional three markers in there to make sure you keep the hat quartered. So we can use one piece of yarn to mark two positions if we wish. And then I'll use a third piece of yarn to mark the other quarter position. The two knits side by side should be fairly evident, but it never hurts to have a double check. Here's my final marker yarn. And now I have my three quarter positions marked and my start of round position. So I can go on to circular needles anytime I like. Decrease, I'm sorry. Gradually the rate of increase will slow down. So you're increasing every third round for a while now. And then as soon as this sort of looks almost big enough for your future wearer, then slow the rate of increase down to every fourth round and slip the stitches onto a needle and try on the hat. Marker yarns can be pulled up the work with you as you go if you don't need them as a record for later. So there's no need to have very long pieces of yarn. Keeping them short, you can always tie on more if you wish, but it also reduces the possibility of you sitting on them when you sit in your knitting chair and get ready to uh, work with them. And then they can just be pulled out when you're finished with them.